it is the task of the first order to remove the disorder from our own existence, so that civilization may be returned to the stability that promotes progress. A stability that existed under the empire, was reduced to anarchy by the rebellion, was inherited in turn by the so-called republic, and will be restored by us. Future historians will look upon this as the time when a strong hand brought the rule of law back to civilization. Kylo Ren while the Empire, the heroes of the rebellion, and the tragedy of Alderaan would be remembered by the generation conceived after the destruction of the second Death Star, these, victory kids, would learn of the battles of the past in textbooks, with the struggles of the galactic civil war soon becoming nothing more than a distant memory. Many of the old Empire's orbital shipyards were destroyed, and the New Republic passed the Military Disarmament Act, among others, in an effort to avoid repeating the mistakes of the Galactic Republic, and rotated its capital among member worlds rather than using the former Imperial Center. Imperial collectors of stormtrooper helmets, banners, flags and other regalia of the Imperial Armed Forces often gave themselves outlandish titles, such as the Avenger of Jakku, Emperor's Wrath, and Interceptor Fire, in a quasi-homage to the late Empire. Others admired the fallen regime for its efficiency, vision, and massive military machine. With the empire's collapse, many of the emperor's servants fled into the unknown regions with some of the regime's greatest secrets. There, for nearly three decades after Endor, the former empire would recoalesce itself as the mysterious First Order. By 21 Abbey, the tattered remnants of the empire had fled into the farthest reaches of galactic space, but an obscure command structure had started to emerge within the unknown regions. Although the Imperial holdouts based in the unknown regions were still scattered during that time, one Imperial remnant that followed the growing chain of command remained active in the main space of the galaxy and established an alliance with the corporate sector authority. Meanwhile, situated in the galaxy's vast frontier, the growing First Order rapidly expanded and colonized newly discovered star systems, while new bases, shipyards, and weapons labs began churning out a technologically advanced military in a bid to conquer the galaxy. Armitage Hux became a general in the First Order, and inherited his father's ambition to train a new army of stormtroopers that was superior to the Imperial generation. Inspired by the memory of the Galactic Empire and composed of various military leaders of the former regime, the First Order fought for control of the galaxy against the Resistance, a private military force led by General Leia Organa and funded by like-minded senators in the New Republic who believed the Order posed a greater threat than many believed. 